There we go. We're on. But I mean, e e e giant sight casted. Sight casted the giant. Oh my god. Giant. He got it. Big freaking snow. Big freaking snow. Modulating the drag. Every day of fishing is so different, but this is one of those days where everything panned out perfectly and it ended up being absolutely insane. Check this video out, guys, it's non stop. Oh my god, I threw that on his freaking face, dude. You have got to be kidding me. Dude, there's like 50 jacks here. I threw it on his face. I watched him eat it. It was giant. That sucks. I can't believe the hook didn't grab. Oh my God, there's another one right there. Oh my God, they're everywhere, dude. They're literally everywhere, guys. There's giant jacks everywhere. Oh my god, one's on it. One's on it. They're, they're, they're all on it. Dude, there's so many jack here. Just passing up my freaking bait. There's so many jack here. Oh my god, I need a fresh bait. I need a fresh bait ASAP. ASAP, 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 ASAP. I can't believe I sight casted that jack. There we go. We're on. But I mean, e e e Giant sight casted. Sight casted the giant. Sight casted the giant. Modulating the drag. We got her. Oh my god. Sight casted this beast. Sight casted. Literally. I don't know if we'll get her in because we got a dock to contend with, but I sight casted her. Oh my god. There was like eight of them. We're gonna have to get this back line in. This one's huge, guys. This one's huge. I got a bad shoulder, so I'm gonna have to crank with my left, hold with my right, on the Florida GT rod. She's going left and right. She's going left and right, left and right. She's so big, dude, 30 pounds. 30 pounds all day. It's crazy because I had it like a half dead mullet. Snook loved the half dead mullet, but the jack don't. And I hit one of them hit it when it was alive, killed it, and then they just would not touch that half dead one. There's so many here. Guys, I didn't get to uh, address exactly what's wrong with my shoulder. I have a partially torn AC joint in labor. So this is like not okay. There's still so many up there. It's 
she's turned. Come to Poppy. God, that first run was scary, boys and girls. Guys, if I look awkward and you're just tuning in, I have a torn labrum and AC joint. God, she's big. Oh my God, one of the bigger ones I've got recently. Let's see if I can catch her. She's tired, dude. That first run tired her out. Oh my God, this is a 30 pounder all day. All freaking day. I can't turn her. Such a beast and sight casted. It's rare that you see them cruising like that and you're able to just get them, you know? Come on, girl. She's so tired. She's freaking huge, dude. This jack is so big, guys. This jack is so big. My shoulder's done. I know I keep saying it. You guys are having so much pain right now. on the other side of the boat, dude. I gotta pick the trolling up. Oh my god. Come I wish I had a friend here. GT ride for the freaking win. Yes. Oh my god, so that might be a 40 pounder, dude. Solo net traps are so hard. That was as smooth as I could have made that. Well, if my labrum wasn't fully torn before, now it is. This is a, this is a monster. Let's get a weight. Oh my God, she's got another hook in her. <clears throat> Thirty-four pounds. Thirty-four pounds. She's got another hook in her. Check that out. Got another hook out of her. Let's get a look at her on the camera. Check that out, guys. That's a thirty-four pound river freaking monster look at that thing absolutely giant we're gonna let her go three two one she swam off beautifully shoulders done
got the casting gear. Ugh. Just hopped up on the platform. Do you know what was incredible about those eats? These are huge mullet, like really big mullet. And there was about 10 jack, about the same size circling. And I pitched that one and they normally don't eat, especially when you're that close with the freaking boat. Oh my God, another one, I'm on. Letting it eat, letting it eat, letting it eat. Look at that line run. Look at that dude, I'm on again. This one's going nuts. Am I still on? No! He got off! Hook must have reset. No, it didn't. Wow, that was stupid. I should have set. It's a circle hook, but when you know they have it for that long, you can set. My fault on that one. I'm an idiot. Look at the size of these bait. I have huge hands. People never realize that. Your boy has clown feet, clown hands. Wow, so we found some hungry jack. Being up here really screwed me over last time, but I wanna watch it. By the way, shout out to my boy JC, who got murked on this wall. I told him I would get revenge. So we did that today. There's one cruising smaller, this one's smaller. I wouldn't mind like a 25 pounder. What's happening y'all? We just got to our next spot. And uh, I got my new unit here. And so it's not the best for what I do because I typically am fishing most of the year inshore sea walls that are, I don't know, one foot or less, maybe two feet or less. They're almost never more than two feet. But this, this general area is, uh, right now it's four feet because it's an entrance to a residential canal and it gets to about one or two there. But, um, wow, freaking Osprey, Osprey. But uh, it's actually working pretty well. I've actually marked some stuff on my side scan. So I'm gonna show you my new unit. My wife got it for me. And so what I'm seeing, cause I watched so many YouTube videos, I'm seeing these little black marks and stuff swimming. Like I saw a mark that was very evidently a big jack swimming about two feet from that wall. And then I saw another mark that was a snook and I pitched my mullet right where I saw it. And my mullet's really nervous right now, to be honest. It's crazy nervous. Could have just been that osprey. Let's pitch her right back into the strikes. Yeah, she's she's completely off the wall. She's like, I'm good. I'm good. I wanted to give you guys some fishing tips today that I was giving on my Instagram story. This was a while ago. Because my YouTube videos are typically like four weeks behind. But um, first tip is... Follow the direction of the wind. Like if I turn around, you'll hear wind noise and you can see the wind is coming. So this is a south-southwest wind, which means it's coming from south-southwest. So that's over there. So it's pushing into the wall. So I'm trying to find walls where the wind is hitting it. And people don't like to do that because if it's really windy, it can get rough. But the bait gets pushed up against the wall and then the fish like to eat in those conditions. Some of my biggest fish have come on really rough sea walls and docks too because the bait gets disgruntled and the fish just stay there near the structure and they eat. So that's my first tip, follow the wind. My second tip is don't be afraid to fish skinny water. It's probably eight inches off to the left here and it gradually progresses and slopes to three, four feet. But a lot of the sea walls I fished, like the one that you guys saw me fish um, the other day, it was like six inches. So don't be afraid to find a really shallow sea wall because there might be giants on that wall. And my last tip is don't be afraid to use big bait. Like I, I can't emphasize that enough and be patient. Patience is a virtue when it comes to throwing big bait, whether it's ladyfish on the West Coast, mullet on the East Coast, giant mohar, giant pinfish, 
tilapia, whatever your presentation is, or artificial, big swim baits, big jigs. Like me, I use nine, 10, even 12 inch top waters. Like you cannot be afraid to throw those big profiles, but you also have to understand that the volume bite is gonna go low. I consider myself a big fish guy. What gets me going in the morning and makes me wanna keep doing this is to find a big fish. That's all I care about. And so since I like doing that, I'm fine with catching one big fish. To me, a good day on the water, even if it's eight hours, is one 40-inch snook or one 30-pound jack or 100-pound tarpon. Or if I'm going for big trout, it's a 30-inch uh, trout. If I'm going for reds, whatever it is, largemouth, I just want to catch big fish. I'm not that much of a volume guy. Obviously, there's times where I'm like, all right, let's switch it up. Let's go ultra light. You know, let's do some volume bite. But I'd say most of the time, 75%, I'm just trying to find big fish. And I think I do a really good job at doing that, which leads me to my next point. Tip number four is, if you want more tips, subscribe to this channel. I'm a big fish channel, guys. I put big fish on the boat, that's what I do. If you also want more tips, you can read a lot of my articles. I write for the Florida Sportsman. I used to write for On the Water Magazine. I'm gonna be doing some pieces for Saltwater Sportsman. So it's it's just a passion of mine. I just enjoy writing. Um, I've always done stuff like that. And I give like, that's where you really get the how to, exactly what to do and how to do it. Something's on my mullet. Oh yeah, something's on it. Something big is on it. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Big snook, big snook, big snook, big snook. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, get it, dude, get it. How can it not eat it? Come on, put it on the wall and get it. Big snook on it. I saw its tail. You definitely can't see from here. It's from really far from the wall. Oh my god. Giant. He got it. He got it. He got it. Big freaking snook. Big freaking snook. Giant snook. Giant freaking snook. Let's play our light. Giant snug. Giant snug. Giant snug. 37 to 40 inches. Haven't got the best look. She's coming towards us. You can never back off when they come towards you. You can't give them any slack. Holy smokes, we got her. Oh God, that's not good. That's really not good. She went through the freaking net, dude. We got it. That's a 40. There's a hole in my net. Dude, that's a freaking 42 inch snook. Look at that thing. Look at that. Right out, guys. That's a freaking 42 inch snook caught right there on the wall 
just came up and swiped my freaking mullet. Check that out. What an absolute beautiful specimen. I'm gonna get her back in the water. She's a little tired. So let's get a good release. She looks super healthy though. Sometimes they do that and you gotta, you gotta hold them. Look at her dude, she's trying to like fight me. Okay, that was a better kick. Now she's off. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you want to see more 40 inch snook and giant jack and all the best inshore Florida fishing content, please don't forget to subscribe to help me grow this channel, guys. That is all it takes. Just hit that button. It's free to do so and it really helps me grow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in.